I told you the new Quasar Cannon is the best weapon in Helldivers 2. It's the newest support stratagem in the game that was added today and simply deletes anything you put in front of it. The Queso Cannon can one-shot chargers, automaton dropships, and even Bile Titans only take two shots. It takes a couple seconds to charge up and you can't shoot it until it's fully charged, but it has infinite ammo. The Guitar Cannon also isn't a backpack stratagem, meaning you can still use your shield, jetpack, or guard dog rover alongside it. It can take out spore spewers with a single shot and even the heavily armored shrieker nests only take two shots per tower. The Caesar salad can also clear any nest hole making it the most versatile stratagem in the game. We also got a new heavy machine gun today but it is absolutely terrible. It only has 75 rounds, two reloads, and takes approximately 14 minutes to reload standing still. Which would be fine if it could penetrate heavy armor but it can't. So you're better off using literally anything else. The full announcement came via Twitter from the official Helldivers 2 account. The tweet reads, Helldivers support has arrived. The LAS-99 Quasar Cannon and the MG-101 Heavy Machine Gun are available now for use against the Automaton Horde. It also has this cool poster looking thing from Super Earth saying stratagem delivery alert with pictures of the new weapons. And at the bottom it says for immediate battlefield distribution courtesy of the Ministry of Defense. Overall, as much as I'm mocking the heavy machine gun, it's hard to complain given the sheer amount of updates we continue to get. Like if you compare Helldivers 2 to 99% of AAA games, it blows them all out of the water in terms of new content. Even Palworld, which is another revolutionary game put out by another small studio, has been struggling to put out consistent updates. Which is why, despite a slight decline in player counts recently, Helldivers 2 has retained a significantly higher percentage of its peak player count. It seems like every day there are new leaks about upcoming content and even if you aren't a fan of the leaks themselves, it proves how much runway this game has. I'm going to cover the leaks in a separate video since some people don't want spoilers, so subscribe if you haven't already and keep an eye out for that.